Hi everybody, my name is Alec Kuros, and I'm at the Faculty of Education, University of Regina in uh, not so sunny Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada, uh, where I'm here to talk briefly about a conference coming up. Uh, the conference is called Education in a Changing Environment. It's sponsored by the University of Salford. And I've been very lucky to have been invited as a key speaker at the conference. I'm just going to get comfortable here on this very wet bench and uh, explain my role and what I'll be speaking about uh, quickly. So um, for the past uh, decade or so, I've been a scholar of the uh, open source movement. Um, and really that began probably 10 years ago, uh, looking at to things like um, open source software and certainly things like network learning. Um, but uh, it's really expanded, I think, in the last few years um, to things like open publishing, open courses, and really this whole notion of open pedagogy. Um, so I've been lucky personally to have run a number of open courses, um, or open courses, and this mean, doesn't mean just, in this sense, doesn't mean just uh, uh, you know, providing content for free, but also providing experiences for free. It also, if you um, think about open pedagogy, it also, takes those people who can't typically normal, uh, typically uh, access uh, an online course and gets them to actually work a little bit to help facilitate experiences, to become mentors, to actually make the most of this uh, open access into uh, a, a rich new um, uh, pedagogical sort of prospect. So I think that's really quite exciting. So I will talk about um, my open courses. Uh, give you a sense of what these things are. And also give you great examples from people like George Siemens and, and David Cormier and Steve Downs who have run these uh, massive open online courses which are really quite exciting. Um, I have also want to talk about um, personal learning networks and personal learning environments. This is something that's been uh, something that I've been passionate about over the last few years and certainly have developed a, what I would say uh, is a personal learning uh, network over the last few years where really um, Myself uh, and thousands of educators work and learn and publish together uh, in the open in a really rich experience. It's been absolutely wonderful. So I'll definitely address that and perhaps some of the implications we have for not only uh, informal learning but certainly formal learning. I also want to talk um, generally about with all this connectivity and, and uh, with our access to you know and the rise of social networks like Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and, and the like. Um, what are the number of important issues that are rising here? Um, certainly, uh, I've been studying the notion of digital citizenship. Uh, it, it's something that we certainly can ignore. Um, we're kind of we're, we're leaning towards this near future where everyone and everything is Googleable. And what does that mean towards our notions of identity? And I think that's uh, a key process in all of this and a key uh, area of study. So I want to share some of these. Uh, I hope to call them insights. Um, certainly my studies and, and uh, the type of work that I've done uh, in areas of openness. Um, I'm excited to go to the conference. It's coming up very soon. I'm hoping the weather is a little bit better than this <laughs> for sure. I can't wait to meet people, uh, old friends and, and new ones that I'll meet. And I'm really looking excited to it uh, to go to it. So if you're, if you're registered, I'll see you there. And if you're not, I encourage you to check out, if you're in the area, certainly uh, EC11 uh, at the university, uh, uh, sponsored by the University of Salford. Um, and it's, it's going to be a great conference. So I'll see you there. Take care.